We waited patiently and it definitely took us three time to land here in India. But the Maruti Suzuki Jimny had us enthusiasts and non-enthusiasts alike sitting up and taking notice when it was launched in India at the Auto Expo last year. Now, after the initial hype which filled up the order books quite quickly, the Jimny has found itself lacking some takers. And soon after, a huge discount started rolling in and at the moment, you can walk into a Nexa showroom and buy yourself a Jimny at a price at an on-road price which is much lesser than its initial X showroom price. So in this video, you and I will be taking a detailed look at the Jimny and we'll discuss three reasons why you should buy the Jimny right away and three reasons why you shouldn't. Welcome back to Car and Bike. I'm Belal and before we begin, do consider subscribing to the Car and Bike YouTube channel. Do hit that bell icon as well so you can be notified every time we upload a new video especially when it's short in such a lovely weather. And the first reason why you should buy the Jimny right away are the raining discounts it's offering at the moment, pun intended. So when the introductory prices ended for the Jimny, the Zeta trim was retailing at around 15 to 16 lakh rupees on the road Mumbai and the Alpha trim that we have here, it was retailing at around 17 to 19 lakh on the road Mumbai. So to tackle that high prices, uh, Maruti Suzuki introduced a Thunder edition which was a really good value for money because the previous pricing was without any accessories and on the Thunder edition you got around 2 lakh rupees discount with added accessories and some cosmetic upgrades as well. But now at the moment, uh, since January, the Jimny has been attracting a lot of discounts every single month. Right now you can buy the Jimny at a discount of around 3 to 3.5 lakhs and at the moment, we have seen some of the showroom listing where the Zeta Dream can be had at around 12 to 12 and a half lakh rupees on the road, which is much less than the X showroom prices. Uh, that's including some of the accessories and some of the uh, personalization kits as well. So, if there ever was a perfect time to buy the Jimny, it is now. Now, the next reason to buy the Jimny has to be its off-road potential. Now, a lot has been said about the Jimny's off-road credential. And I've seen the Jimny uh, go up against many large, luxurious and capable off-roaders who cost almost 5 to 10 times the price of the Jimny. But never once did the Jimny back away from the challenge. And in fact, held by its tiny dimension, it also sometimes came on top. But as a daily commuter, there might be few complaints by the not-so-off-road ready buyers uh, because of the Jimny's heavy controls and its sluggish nature, especially out on the highway. But the Jimny, it definitely makes for a good uh, daily commuter. You see, it has uh, the, the one point five liter engine, it has good grunt for its everyday drivability. It's also quite frugal uh, in a certain way, uh, depends on how you drive it. And secondly, and when the monsoon hits and the roads in city like Mumbai, it starts to disappear, the Jimny, it can pour through the paths that no other road users dare to cross. And the third reason why you should buy the Jimny right away is because it is a future icon. Now, it is disheartening to say that here in India, the car is only valued once after it's discontinued and far gone. Uh, I can list down many cars and bikes that when they were on sale, they weren't valued much. But once they were discontinued, uh, the, they started being missed a lot and their second-hand market soared quite a bit. And I hope that the Jimny doesn't meet the same fate because the Jimny, uh, right now, it is the most affordable off-roader. It, uh, it meets everybody's budget and it can uh, take the beaten part like no other car. It has got a lot of character. Like the Gypsy before it, the Jimny is no different. And again, as I said earlier, the Jimny can be your future icon. Now, let's talk about the reasons why you shouldn't buy the Jimny. As I mentioned earlier, the Jimny is quite capable when it comes to off-roading. Its tiny dimensions and its rugged appeal, it's very helpful out in the wilderness. But for someone who's looking to buy the Jimny for its one-car garage, it poses a really hard bargain. Because for someone looking to buy a car, uh, will get a much more luxurious and spacious cabin for the same price that they will put on in the Jimny. And the Jimny's cabin, it's not very spacious. It, it feels very cramped 
But more than that, it feels like the cabin, it belongs to the 90s. It's good enough for someone who loves the 90s, but for a modern buyer, they want the cabin to be slightly more welcoming, slightly more luxurious, more uh, ergonomic as well. Something that the Thar has managed to do pretty well. And continuing the comparison with the Thar, the Jimny failed to capture a huge chunk of audience who believe in the bigger the better ideology, me included actually. Because you see, uh, the Indian buyers, they prefer a bigger the better. They put down their money and for that money, they want a bigger car. And the Jimny, it is compact in every single parameter. It is a strictly four-seater car, which is not very palatable for Indian buyers. Because when they buy a car, they want their entire family to fit in. Secondly, uh, it, it might grab attention on the road. But again, it misses out on that formidable feel when you are uh, driving down the street with a huge high riding stance. The Jimny misses out on that front. But you see, ever since the introduction of the Jimny brand a few decades ago, the small and the compact dimension was its biggest forte. Its small motor, which was uh, good enough for everyday commutes and its frugality. The tiny dimension, which was good enough for city commutes and its formidable or capable 4x4 hardware. It saw a huge success in the European market. Uh, the 4x4 hardware was also usable for the uh, people in Europe who had their houses far away uh, across the moors and the farmland. Even today, you would find a happy Jimny buyer behind the wheel, uh, thoroughly crossing the outskirts away from this uh, urban jungle. <music> Lastly, it's the on-road dynamics of the Jimny that might put off a few. You see, when a buyer walks into a showroom and has a budget of say under 20 lakhs, the Brezza and even the Grand Vitara offer them a much more civilized car ownership experience. They are more practical, more spacious and have the features and also can fit five in more comfort. And if you have to spend long hours in the car, these two cars make more sense than the Jimny. Here in the Jimny, the steering is heavy, the clutch is heavy and the gearbox is far from friendly. So the Jimny needs a lot of commitment to be your everyday car. But like every off-roader, the Jimny has a huge scope of modification with many personalization kits which can be as easy as bolt-on to numerous hardware modification to go on even extreme terrain, the Jimny has it all and all of it at a price that won't break your bank either. That's not a small feat. So at the end of the day, should you buy the Maruti Suzuki Jimny? Well, yes, you should. If even the smallest part of your commute has a road which does not exist, if you want to take the beaten part on your week off or your weekend, and if you want a future icon that will only give you memories to cherish. Sure, it has its shortcomings like its pragmatic and not so very spacious cabin, its small dimensions and heavy controls. But the Jimny, it has a lot of character, which not many cars on sale in India right now can boast of. And at the end of the day, the Jimny, it definitely deserves your attention, if not your garage. That's all from me in this video. Hope you liked it and if you did, uh, do hit that like button and share this video with those who's considering to buy the Jimny or any other small SUV. And if you have any other questions regarding the Jimny, its discounts or any other questions regarding any other cars in India, do visit our website www.carandbike.com. This is Vilas signing off. Until next time. <music>